Dar doji hypocrite why why what's, what's wrong with these fellows do you not train your cameramen well before they show up here They're not my camera no because you visit the video that's why we put in our camera you understand please please stay away please please put in our camera thank you very much you are happy when the camera is not there but we put in the camera please i'm not having an intellectual conversation we put in our camera you do have an intellectual conversation I will try to have it because you edit the video. Thank you. Yeah, you edit but, the video, you that's why, because okay. we are so evidence. not trustworthy, shameless. Thank that's you. Why. Thank you. That's why we're doing that. Thank you. You understand? So, history. I, not what are those books? Evidence. Camera, yeah, that's that's my book. Oh, okay. I, I might have shown this a long time ago. No. So, Nas, let me ask you a few questions. Okay. Evidence for idolatry in Mecca. Do you know of any evidence at all? Uh, what the, type of evidence? Any, any, any historical evidence to ascertain yes, there sorry, was idolatry? Yes, sorry, I forgot No problem. Um, idolatry so in, the the middle of, in the middle of seventh century when Mecca is supposed to have been uh, sorry, when Muhammad is supposed to have ministered against idolaters. Ah, uh, so from the traditions. Like from Sunni Shia sources. The traditions. Um, I mean, if you have Sira literature uh, in mind, if you have Hadith literature in mind, they are very late sources. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about qualified historical resources, i.e., contemporary evidence, some sort of contemporary evidence, archaeological, for the existence of uh, idolatry in Mecca in the seventh century. Uh, so when it comes to idolatry in the Quran, um, the Quran criticizes them. Um, it, it's not so much the belief in Allah, but it's more so that they do not worship Allah alone. But so my, they my associate isn't, partners. My question, my question isn't whether the Quran claims anything or not. The Quran is under scrutiny already. What is under scrutiny can't be a witness. My point is, do you have any archaeological evidence for idolatry having been in existence in in and around in Arabia, Hijazi area, in the seventh century. Yeah. So the type of worship which is criticised in Islam has to do with like supplication. So with that type of, you wouldn't necessarily expect there to be like archaeological type evidence. So the belief is in one God, but nonetheless they supplicate through either Mary or through saints or angels, and that is what is criticised or condemned in the Quran. In Mecca. In Mecca, was there in the in, in Mecca it, it was there like, was there no idols? So it does seem like there were Christians in Mecca uh, and also Jews. Yeah, apart from them, were there um, pagan idols at all? So from the traditional sources, uh, it, it does mention that the Kaaba was filled with idols. Yeah. So, and the so in other words, we would expect to find archaeological sources for them. Do we have any? Not necessarily. What do you mean? If um, they're filled if, with if idols, if idol worship was rampant across the Arabian Peninsula at that time, we should. It's a, we, idols are archaeological artifacts. Yeah. We should find them. Where are they? Do we know? Do we have? Have we found any? Yes. Yeah, so the archaeological uh, evidence for us today. But in 7th century Arabia, once they embraced Islam, and since Islam is so anti-idol, um, the idols wouldn't have any news or meaning for them. So uh, uh, they would have been destroyed because they no longer worship the idols. So that would be my understanding in a nutshell. Okay, okay, all right, okay. So, but uh, do you have any evidence for the seventh pre-7th century existence of Mecca? Seven, what, any pre-7th century existence of Mecca as for, a city? I, I, um, so, uh, did Sam mention Tomali? Um, yeah, he, he mentions... From the 2nd century or something? Uh, so, so uh, he, he's a historian and he has a map of the Arabian Peninsula and he mentions Mecca as Makraba. Yeah, Makraba. Where does he place it? Uh, so, it's not like... As, uh, it's basically um, West Coast. Yeah, so West Coast, but where? North or South? Um, uh, middle. Middle West Coast. Yeah, so you, you think Makraba that he refers to is the Mecca of today? Yes. That, so if, if there is evidence... To what Neil, Neil Robertson, uh, he interpret Neil Robertson from Leeds University um, in his book Discovering the Quran, uh, he interprets that to be a reference to Mecca. Uh, Mecca. So I've got a code. So. No problem. So when, in terms of... In terms of in terms I'm just looking for the map. So. No, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. In terms of the inscriptions that we have, Okay. We have very solid evidence today. For monotheism. Mm -hmm. For, for, for monotheism, pre-Islam. We, we, we have 
So you mentioned earlier when I asked about idols, you mentioned idols were destroyed. But remarkably, remarkably, thousands of inscriptions have been found. Rock inscriptions. Thousands have been found, many with references to idolatry. Many. So in terms of idolatry, many given that many have been found, you also find uh, this also from pre like sixth century, you mean sixth or fifth century? Yeah, essentially 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 the first few centuries. Oh okay, before Islam. Five, six centuries pre-Islam, okay. we have uh, ins rock inscriptions, pre-Arabic, Nabataean script, what, what proto, does it, what proto Arabic, proto-Arabic, Nabataean inscriptions, and what we what find. What do the inscriptions say? Well, what we find is for a couple of centuries before Islam is supposed to have arrived on the scene, there was no idolatry. We have evidence for that. Oh, okay. So idolatry in Islam is not necessarily worshipping a statue, can also be in Bel No, no, but you agreed earlier, Kaab in Mecca, yeah. there was idolatry. And those, that idolatry is classical idolatry with physical idols. So idolatry existed. So no, please don't talk about, you know, um, essentially there was clear classical idolatry. But in the rock inscriptions, we find evidence to the contrary. Yes, so according to uh, the traditional sources from like Sunni Shia sources, uh, they make mention of the Kaaba being filled with statues. But they are late sources. So those late sources, very late sources. Which uh, sources do you have in mind? Um, so you can say Ibn al uh, but I I Very late source. Yeah. But Ibn al is not necessarily the, the first or earliest biography of the Prophet. There were other biographies as well. And Ibn al incorporates like pre-existing sources. What is the earliest uh, evidence for Ibn Ishaq? Uh, in manuscript form, I don't know from the Tumbahe. Ibn Ishaq, we know no, Ibn Ishaq is no, by no means uh, is an available artifact today. Ibn Isham isn't even available. So please, I want early sources. I what don't do you mean it. Ibn Isham is not available? Well, in terms of manuscriptal evidence for, for for what we're talking about, we don't have these things. So what I'm asking is, what I'm asking is very simply, please use yeah. But if we're going to be consistent, I don't have a Nas, problem with the early being, evidence. I accept late sources that are based upon pre-existing material. So I accept How, the, so, okay, use the, late source, the Old Testament, use for late so, What's that? So like the Old Testament, like the book of Genesis, I accept Genesis, uh, even though the manuscripts are like, uh, more than 1300 years uh, after Moses. No, the. For, um, for, 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 so, do you mean like the Dead Sea Scrolls? If you want to have a debate on this as to why the Old Testament is credible, I can get into this. No, no, so, I, I, Nas, I'm not Nas, debating the authenticity of the Nas, Bible. Nas, I, I, I'm, I'm just I'm, saying. I'm, I'm, because you're making we a have false, to have the same, same standards. No, no, no. no. You're, you're making a false so equivalence. Ibn al is a couple of hundred you're years. You're talking about a false equivalence. But Genesis here. is like Israel, more than a thousand years. Israel as a nation was a nation which experienced signs and wonders over a prolonged period of time. Prolonged period of time. In Islam, you don't have it. How so do you, you make sense you of Genesis? You can't compare them both. Which is, uh, Genesis is offered by Moses, but the earliest manuscripts for Genesis, I believe it's from the Dead Sea Scrolls. But are you listening to what I'm saying? You're not listening to what I'm saying. Is, if You're you talking want about the Old Testament as a whole rather than Genesis specifically. What I am saying is, the biblical narrative, the biblical case, the, the way in which we approach the, approach the biblical case is very different. Because in the case of the biblical community, they were a people group who, who saw signs and wonders okay. over a prolonged period of time, including even in the time of Jesus Christ. Signs and wonders. You don't have this with Islam. When you don't have this with Islam, you can't just make things up as you so go along. what are the documentary evidence for the signs and wonders that the Israelites witnessed? Okay, let's start here. Before the Bible, let's start with Jesus Christ. Do you agree Jesus performed signs and wonders? Uh, from the Quran, yeah. But do My you, belief in the Quran, yeah. The, the Quran is under scrutiny. You haven't provided any evidence for the Quran yet. So is the Bible under scrutiny as well? Absolutely. The but Bible we can, can still be, accept, the Bible, we can still use the Bible. No, so not, we can still not, use the Quran not, as well. not while its veracity hasn't been established. While it is treated as a 
uh, as a doubtful literature. Who doubts the Quran as a who doubts the Quran as a contemporary text from the time of the Prophet? So, for, who doubts the Quran? What? Yeah, as a contemporary literature from the time of the Prophet or from the seventh century. We have all sorts of problems with the Quranic history. Also, do According we have any? Do we have any manuscripts for? Uh, do we have any of the Uthmanic manuscripts available today? According to Sidki. Uh, we may have either 99% or 100% manuscripts from the 7th century or from the first Let me ask you years. this question again because you're not addressing my question. Do we have any of the Uthmanic mushafs today? So the Birmingham manuscripts, for example, is identified with either coming from Uthman's time or, pred or predating Uthman. But do we have any of the Uthmanic manuscripts today? So I mentioned the Birmingham manuscript so you claim and also Birmingham possibly the Sana as well. So you claim Birmingham manuscript is Uthmanic manuscript? It is from his time. I'm not asking that. This is why you are evading my question. My question in specific is Uthmanic manuscripts, the standardized manuscripts that Uthman produced, Uthman ordered to be produced, which were produced according to Islamic yeah. tradition, do we have any evidence for them today? So I'm not the best person to ask. But, um, but, you, can you, always... but you are reasonable. I mean, if you can't answer yeah. this question, no one can. No, no Muslim can. Well, do we have any Uthmanic? You can ask in your too. knowledge, in you your can. knowledge, is there any Uthmanic? I, I believe push -up there today? is. Um, if you go which to one? If you go to the Islamic Awareness website, but which one is Uthmanic worship today? Yes, if you go to the Islamic Kaifin Awareness, I've gone through. Uh, I don't think they talk. They about have a list of chronic manuscripts. No, no, no. I, I've gone through the entire list. I mean, they don't can, talk about. We can maybe don't. look at it. Please, please find out, please, and tell me which one is the Uthmanic. Which ones are Uthmanic manuscripts? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they've identified, um, for example, from Top Copy Istanbul. Top Copy is Uthmanic manuscripts? Or from Samarkand. Top Copy and Samarkand are Uthmanic mushafs, is what they are claiming? Where are they claiming that? Um, where are they claiming they that? They also have the um, yeah, Istanbul again. Where are, where are they claiming that? I don't see the claim. Where are they claiming that? Uh, yes, I beg your pardon. I made a mistake. Yeah. Um, they say, um, sorry, I had it here. Um, sorry, I had it before. Um, but, but, but yeah, basically they're not making the claim. No one yeah. is, I went through for, the For this specific thing. Istanbul. No, no, no one is making this claim. This idea of Uthmanic Musa. But there are manuscripts that are identified from the time of uh, Uthman, or if not even earlier than what Uthman. Is the no, this is not true. Nas, you're making like things up Burmi as you go along. Like the Birmingham manuscripts. Burm no, no, no. Please, you're making things up as you go along. Please don't do that. No manuscript today is credibly identified as Uthmanic Musa. So today. how many manuscripts do we have from the time of the disciples of Jesus? Let's go to that later. I'm talking, about the Quran. I'm talking about the Quran right now. Yeah, but we have to be fair, isn't it? No, we can't. We, you know, I'll, just I'll come to, to, I'll come to the Bible in a little bit. I'll so come do to we the have any first century manuscripts of Matthew or John's Gospel? You understand, Nas. You should very well understand the context we are talking about. You're comparing apples with oranges. You, you would understand this. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, it, Islamic, Islamic why land. why you don't want to discuss Islamic <laughs> Hijazi land. Nas, Hijazi land, Mecca and so on. Hijazi land hasn't been, hasn't been, Nas, Hijazi land hasn't been taken over continually from the time of Muhammad. Hasn't Is been taken over. Is that the excuse that you don't have no, manuscripts it's not, from the time of Matthew? We are talking about the Quran right now. 
Uthmanic Musaf don't exist. Do we agree on this? Uh, I disagree. Uh, I just need to do so, more. I need to read more of Islamic Okay, awareness. that's fine. You, yeah. you please do more. But, but even while, then, I don't have a problem because we have first century But while you do more, Quran. while you do more, yeah. don't disagree already. Don't do. Because when you have, when you have to do research, don't make the claim already. So Uthmanic Musafs don't exist. Number one. Number two. Let me come to this place. Do we have any of the early manuscripts complete? Quranic manuscripts complete. When is the earliest complete Quranic manuscript? I don't know from the top of my hand, but we have first century manuscripts which are either 99% or 100%. Which one is that? Um, so like the Birmingham manuscript Birmingham, from the first century. Birmingham manuscript is 99%? No, I said the uh, manuscripts all together from the first century make up the Quran. Is there a single manuscript which is an entire copy, it, which is an entire Quran? Okay, let's just when agree to disagree. We've had the, the discussion. When is the earliest? I'm going to run away. When is so, the okay. earliest? Islam. When is the earliest? <laughs> complete. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I was waiting for someone to phone me. So, yeah. <laughs> is that yours? Um, no. What happened? Uh, it's time we ended there. I, I didn't want to talk to him anyway. Uh, I was trying to avoid him by keep following me around. Please, this, uh, please. Why do you do it to yourself? I didn't want to talk to him, but he just keeps following me around. <laughs> the, the, and, and he sets the questions up. He wants you to answer it the way he wants you to. Uh, and he doesn't want you to trust the Bible. No, no, no. They're, they're not interested in Right? Yeah. Gosh. How are you so often? How you doing? You right? I got caught, but yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, just, like, just be, yeah. honestly, just, just, I just, just walk away. I've got no respect. Just walk away. Seen Paul? Seen him here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he just he seemed to vanish. Uh, last time I saw him, he was talking to Brother uh, Daphne. I have no idea that is. Paul Beggar. I think he may have left. I, I, think, I think he may have left. I can't see him. I mean, today's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get home in time. Inshallah, I'm going to get home in time. I'm I'm already in the dog house, even coming up. Yeah, so I need to make sure I'm there. If I'm not there, gosh, when, when is Zakir's book coming out? Huh? When is Zakir's book coming out? No, uh, it's good. Well, they're still doing, they're still editing. I, I said, I said to bro, like, I said, uh, people are asking. And he said, look, it's, it's still being done. But I think what, what's happened, don't, don't tell me. You can't because it, only now, now things have calmed down, he's getting things, he's going to start going back into uh, writing and whatever, but at the moment, he said he's he bought for about a year and a half, he dropped the book. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
and Zaka didn't come back and then push him on those things. So in terms of uh, uh, the, the, the debate that led to it, right, Zaka's on. On the substance, Zaka, to me, what is over there? Yeah, true. true. No, no, no. I'm not judging it because I didn't watch any of that, right? I'm, obviously, I'm just there for a debate. And I said, like, from a debating style, I'm ever going to be good. He let me know. He lied. I caught him out in about five or six lies. Well, that's the point. I'm saying on the, on the debate, one was the debate and stuff, the connivingness, the deception. He won, right? Zakir went there, right? And he wasn't as prepared as he should have been, one. And two, he was just being honest and just looking at the point. So, when I said, when you, when you in the future, you can to you will see that Zakir is quite cool. You watch it, it may look, you understand? I'm not sure what we're looking at. You uh, may uh, you know, the it may look like now that you're under pressure, right? But I said, when people go back and look at the video dispassionately and then see and analyze it, see that. There's lies he told, but even when you look at the Q&A session, I asked him one, I asked him one question, he just didn't answer. I was like, wow, I was like, that shows what he was doing to my event. As soon as he was jammed up, I just didn't answer the question. Or he just outright lied. <laughs> I don't see it. I like I like I like I like I like I like And the Muslim copy lies from Torah and Bible.